We all know when Tesla hits a 52 week high, or Apple, or any of the popular household name stocks. But unknown and unseen companies are hitting 52 week highs all the time. And we've enlisted the help of our sponsor Stake to unearth a selection of these hidden potential gems. These stocks are not just hitting little highs either. Some of these companies have shot out of relative obscurity to hit the top performing stocks list. We're going to look at five stocks provided by Stake's analysts to hopefully widen your radar when it comes to potential stocks to invest in. And we'll dig into why these stocks in particular are currently kicking ass and whether we still think that they have room to run or whether the word bubble is appropriate. Let's check it out. Welcome to MillionShackle.com, the investment and finance channel and website that says you and your finances free. That was Andy and I'm Ben and if you like what we say, hit the like button and click subscribe. Stake have a bonus offer for everyone who opens an account with them via our link. A free US stock worth up to $100 when you fund your account within 24 hours. We'll put the link to the office page in the description below so be sure to check that out. Now let's get into the video. Stake. First up, who are Stake? They are a regular partner of ours on this channel and an FCA regulated commission free trading platform that positions itself as the home of US stocks for UK investors like us. It can say this with confidence because there are no FX fees when you trade and you have a choice of almost 4,000 US stocks and ETFs on the app. First up, Maxar Technologies. Maxar Technologies has a pretty unremarkable name compared to the cool things it does to make money. It provides solutions for earth intelligence and space infrastructure. They help governments to monitor and understand the changing planet, have a hand in rolling out global broadband and explore and advance the use of space. So let's now have a look at the growth on this stock. And there you see it's insane. This is the stake app we're looking at. And if we scroll down, we see it's 52 week low was just $7. And now it's at nearly $30. That's 325% higher. Maxar is now a $1.8 billion company, up from being just a $400 million small cap this time last year. If we scroll on down past some news about the company to look at the financials then, we can look a little closer at this company. Here's our thoughts on the finances from our digging. Revenues and profits have held more or less consistent for the past five years, ignoring some extraordinary write-offs in 2018, but sales are growing at around 6%. Net debt has been high these last few years. It took on $2.4 billion of debt in 2017, still sat on the balance sheet now. To buy out a company called Digital Globe, which didn't help max out profitability in the years following at all, causing the share price to crumple in 2018. But recent share price growth is reflective of the market's expectations for a big turnaround in Maxar's fortunes. Longtime partner Esri just signed a multi-million dollar contract extension for satellite imagery base maps used in digital atlases of the world through to 2023. The US Army just chose Maxar to deliver their portable satellite imagery systems, an eight-year contract valued at $49 million. And Intelsat, a partner of Elon Musk's SpaceX, just commissioned Maxar to build them a satellite due to be put into orbit in 2023. It's all coming up roses for Maxar in 2020. Align Technologies. Next up, we have Align Technologies, and I guarantee you've never heard of this stock if you're from the UK. Let us know in the comments if you have. Look at that recent spike in the share price, and if we zoom in on that, we can see that something very good must have happened. The share price direction has mirrored that of the Nasdaq over the last year, with a dip in March when lockdown started and fast growth going above and beyond prior positions. We can see how far it's come since March here. Align makes very clever technology for use in dentistry, which is an extremely lucrative industry in the States. Moving on to the analyst ratings area on the Stake app, we can see what the big institutional investors think about this stock. We always like to do our own research into any stock and we don't use what others think as a reason to buy or sell. But it's an important part of our stock picking checklist to check that we haven't missed anything negative about the company we're interested in buying. The big boys are all saying it's a buy and we get more detail in here about the targets they have set. Piper Samner are saying that this stock would be a buy all the way up to $500. It's currently at $453. Going down, Credit Suisse are saying it was a good time to buy at $432. What we don't want to see here is consensus from the professionals that it's not a good time to buy. And with this stock surging 25% in one day just recently, there is understandably good momentum behind it. 
The analyst consensus with the line is that the company was being hugely undervalued and that the link between lockdowns and dentistry had not been properly appreciated. American consumers with pent-up disposable income have been spending money on cosmetic improvements rather than holidays. A doubling of new leads, addition of new dentists and new orders are among leading indicators that support an outlook for sustainable growth. Interestingly, they credit their success to TikTok. A line have partnered with the newly famous stars on the platform, leading to a 118% increase in traffic. GameStop. Massive in the US, but not a household name in the UK, GameStop is the world's largest video game retailer. The share price has been growing all year due to more people chilling out at home, but shot up in October on the news that GameStop will get a cut of digital revenue from every Xbox it sells. The new multi-year deal with Microsoft means that GameStop will get a kickback every time that somebody buys a digital game or digital content through an Xbox that had been sold through a GameStop store. The cheaper next-gen Xbox Series S console doesn't have a disk drive, which is bad news for retailers as physical games are incompatible. But GameStop has smashed the competition here by finding a way to receive revenue from digital game sales. The share price fell 1.7% when investment bank Jefferies downgraded the stock from buy to hold. They said that they were pausing to reconsider GameStop's long-term opportunities as most of the potential growth is still in the concept phase. The company is deep in losses, but these are getting smaller year after year, with break-even expected in 2022. The massive growth in share price is an expectation of future profits, and everything points towards GameStop moving in the right direction. Will growth continue? Well, while it has nearly tripled in value over the last year to $15 a share, valuing the company at over $900 million, that's still a fraction of its all-time high of $63, which it hovered around in 2007 and 2013. To get back there, it will need to prove that a physical video game retailer can stay relevant in an age of digital downloads. The deal with Microsoft is the first sign that this might just be possible. In our opinion, this is a risky turnaround play. Nautilus. Another lockdown success story, Nautilus manufactures home gym equipment. Look at that growth. It's gone from a low of $1.20 a share to over $27. That's growth of 1,200% and valued the company at just over $800 million. The company was loss making in 2019, but lockdowns have really turned Nautilus's prospects around. It's now expected to make profits in 2020 on the back of a 93% boost in sales as people find new ways to stay fit at home. It's not sitting on any debt and its revenue is very secure, but on a PE ratio of 36, we wonder if this stock has any further to run. But then again, people say that about Tesla all the time, and that keeps going up. Tesla's PE ratio has sat above 1,000 now for some time. With Nautilus, you might invest if you think the momentum has room to run longer in line with the possibility of extended lockdowns through winter and into 2021. Roku. Roku is another stock that has recovered to smash through several ceilings since the March crash. We can see that anyone buying in March lows would have quadrupled their money by now, with Roku now valued at $27 billion. Roku is a digital streaming channel like Netflix, but Roku's true success lies in selling devices which groups TV streaming services like Netflix and Prime together in one place alongside its own service. One in three TVs in America are now built with Roku smart TV tech in them with 43 million live accounts. Having created that ecosystem, advertisers and streaming channels are clamoring to get on Roku. In a time where digital streaming is more and more popular, Roku have strategically positioned themselves to make partners out of companies which otherwise could have outcompeted them. But sales of smart TV hardware only make up around one third of its revenue, the rest coming from complex advertising arrangements with its partners. Last year, advertising revenue increased 78% to $741 million, or two thirds of the $1.1 billion that it made in total. Can Roku keep climbing? They're still in the pre-profit stage, i.e. loss making, but although TV streaming is now more a part of our lives than ever before, there is still room for advertising revenues to grow a lot further. Advertising budgets were largely put on ice during the first months of the pandemic, and when normality resumes, we assume Roku will be in a good place. What makes a stock hit a 52-week high? Ideally, you want to invest in a stock before it hits a massive high but don't let that put you off. As we recently demonstrated in this video, linked in the description below, investing at an all-time high can still be a great investing strategy. Check that out next. We hope to show you with today's video that there are more growing stocks out there 
than just the ones that make your phones apps and that you see on the newsreels. The stocks we've covered did so well because they were positioned to take advantage of a changing world. What other less talked about stocks are you buying and why? Let us know down in the comments. And don't forget to sign up to Stake and get your free stock. The link is below. Thanks for watching. On this channel, we talk a lot about personal finance, investing, and all things money. And if you want to see more great content, please click the subscribe button below. This is moneyunshackled.com. See you next time.